coming. Hey there, Bass Heroes. Um, right, uh, yeah, today's video is going to be about uh, just going few a few things. Obviously, I haven't got any live footage, I'm afraid, because the reason is, is because I haven't really been, I've been twice since the last video where well, I caught the, caught the, you know, got all excited and nearly had a heart attack while I, was, while I was fishing, I've been twice. And the reason why, I mean, we're at the moment, we're having this um, weather coming over from America. It normally happens to us, doesn't it? We, they have a bloody hurricane, Hurricane Billy Boy or Billy Goat, whatever it is. And, and then we get, um, we sort of get the backlash of it. But it's been like that for weeks. We haven't had, well, in Randaro, I mean, it's, loads of people around the country catching bloody bass it makes me sick when i go on the 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 um love well, not really i mean it's good good for them bloody hell it's great but that's that's what we're dealt with unfortunately we've got shit conditions around here i can't say it any other way anyway like i said i've been um, probably twice in the last three or four twice in the last three or four there just hasn't been the window of opportunity now um one of those times i went I checked the old weather, the old XC weather. It, it's pretty good. Sometimes they get it wrong. Anyway, I'd seen that it had gone, um, it had gone southwesterly. But I was at work, so obviously I'm at work all day, so I'm not going to be able to go fishing anyway. So the next morning, I thought, sod it, I'm going to go, go to work for a couple of hours and try and catch catch the low tide at, at lunchtime because it was obviously it should have should have cleared by then. But another thing you. You know, it's a gamble, isn't it? Anyway, so get all the way down there, park the car, get all the way down, walk all the way down to the fishing, all the way out to the low mark, mark, tide mark. Quickly checked my my app. Oh, something just don't quite seem right here. Anyway, it's gone around bloody easterly, just just like that. Anyway, so I thought, sod it. I looked at the water. The water looked pretty shit. Anyway, it was quite. It was a little bit clear, really, really hundred yards out. But um, it only looked it. But around where I was actually, you know, close in, quite deep waters where we where I was going, it was quite good. I've never actually caught fish at that venue, but regardless of that, it is a cracking it is a cracking venue. Loads of people fish there. Anyway, um, so I tried a few lures. Anyway, never 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 got bugger all. Yeah, I walked back to the car and I was presented with this. It's like on my windscreen. Yeah. Hundred pound fine. Now, where I actually parked, there wasn't any um, there wasn't any WL and or anything. So I was baffled by this. I was thinking I'm just going to chuck the, the bloody thing away. Anyway, I looked up on the uh, on this little sign, and it was permit holders only. Funny thing is, I have parked there before. It's just really weird. But now, because there's a building site going on on the other side of the hedge. They've made it restricted parking for some reason, or unauthorized park person must not remove, or whatever that says on there. Anyway, so that was um, a pretty disastrous, disastrous fishing trip. Now, as for this little video, this is going to be a video going over what I have bought. Oh, fucking blinding what, what what I think it is anyway. For me, it is anyway. Uh, and so we get into that into the video anyway. Welcome back. <music> Um, right, so basically we're going to be going through uh, uh, what 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 I had bought and what I've fucking discovered. I say discovered, I probably haven't discovered it. But anyway, uh, how it all happened was um, I was uh, going through uh, AliExpress, funnily enough, looking for lures because some of the lures um, that can be a bloody nightmare to come to get hold of. I've just put on on uh, on one of the new. Well, I just put a little newsletter out just saying that. That some that had come at it was the Asinago or Anisago, or whatever it is, kimono to no, no, I've been trying to get hold of one of them for bloody ages. You just can't cannot get them anyway. But all of a sudden they've become they've become available. Like IMA must have thought, Jesus Christ, you know, and put them into production again because loads of people seem to want them. Same with the Joker, that's another one. I still can't get hold of that, but someone luckily luckily gave me one of them. Anyway, so I'd looked on AliExpress and uh I'd seen all these little lures and I thought, oh my God, they're all good. They look exactly like bloody IMA, IMA Suzuki. So anyway, I ordered a couple. It turned up about a month later. 
as they do from from over there. But um, yeah, anyway, these were these were the these were the ones. But what I noticed with these, this is getting, getting this is all leading to this. So I, I wouldn't, I'd say I'd rather buy the real thing than these these imitations. One reason is is because they're light as a feather. Now, if you can see, I've changed the hooks on that one, even though I've never used it. They're heavier hooks, so it may be cast a little bit better. But when this is the one that's got the original hooks on that come from from uh, China or where, wherever, China, Japan, China, I think. And uh, they're, they're a lot, lot li lighter. In it, mine are a lot, lot heavier. So maybe they might cost. I've never changed. I've never changed. It doesn't mean to say they bloody way. They might be great. I mean, that's obviously a copy of the uh, Sambora, you know, the uh, the Suzuki Sambora 120. And that's obviously a, a char sort of flavour. Anyway, why not was, um, all these times I've been looking on there, well, I've had occasional little look at the reels and I've seen all these funny makes and... Uh, and whatever anyway cut long story short i'd been looking for a new reel um recently just a spare reel i mean i've got my my dial that oh, it's been it's been absolutely great to be honest and that cost me about 24 quid that was that was the special deal it was left-handed even though it can be right-handed as well i might have mentioned it in another video the only thing about it is it just seems to bloody weigh a ton and like for walking the dog I mean, I'm not saying they can't do it, but I think, oh, Jesus, it's just not very consistent. I keep changing hands and, and shit like that. So anyway, what I did was I had uh, I'd looked on on um, on the fishing website and seen this new Shimano that, that had come out. But unfortunately, I had the money as well. I couldn't buy it because it has, isn't actually available. I did contact them. I don't know if it is now. I'll have another look. I mean, I've, I've, I've got a reel now. It doesn't mean to say I probably won't get one of them. The reason why... Is because of the lightness of the reel. Now, Shimano Stradich is um very, very popular reel. Now, this is like another version of that. It's like an update. What is it called? I can't remember now. The Stanford or something like that. Anyway, that, that's that's the lure that's but that's the lure, that's the reel that's coming out. But you just can't get it. So anyway, what I did was I typed into Google top ten lightest. Uh, spinning reels obviously for lure fishing or whatever it was and anyway i come up with this season i thought jesus now number number one it was called the cast king the cast king sharky three now i thought bloody hell i've seen that bloody thing on um on aliexpress so i had another little delve and then i i looked on somebody else's site for the top 10 fucking sure enough it was on there as well so i thought sod it I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna I'm gonna order one. I'll probably have to wait a few weeks for it to turn up. So that's exactly what I did. Now here it is. It's turned up. Now when you think about the price of a, a twin power or um, a Stradich or even the one I was gonna get, this you can get it for about forty. 40 quid i tell you what now when i when it when i was half expecting to turn up and it to be a piece of shit i mean it still ain't it's nowhere near nowhere near as heavy as that trust me it ain't but jesus christ it is bloody amazing look at it it is amazing i mean i've just put um new braid i haven't used it yet so proof's obviously in the pudding but that is the sharky three the the drag the way it's built I mean, it's as smooth as you like. I mean, it's beautiful. That's that's J braid I put on there. That's a brand new sport. That's that's that one. If you you know, twenty pound J braid, blinding milk. Do you know what? I've never ever had a wind knot with that J braid. I mean, I've got J braid on that one, but that's the coloured one. Obviously, I quite like that because when you cast that, change changes colour and that. But I've never ever had. I'm not saying it might just be the word because that's got quite a good line lay on it on that reel. I've never done that. It's the same as. Same as this, but for 40 quid, really? I mean, unless you're going, I mean, I I, I know people that have bought a bloody, um, a, that have had a Stella and, and they've they've packed up and that ballistic. I mean, I did a post on my, um, on my uh, on my website saying about about these reels, you know, the difference is all oh, the light as a feather or whatever. But you know, if you're fishing all the time, they still go wrong. But if you're just uh, if you haven't got the money and you want something bloody decent, I tell you what, 
Oh, that's got to be worth for 40 bloody quid. Cast King, I've never ever heard of it. Apparently they make really good braids as well, but you know, everybody goes, I suppose it's like shirts or, you know, designer shirts or whatever, you know what I mean? The little label on it. Maybe sometimes you're paying for the name. I'm not saying Shim Shimano's and Dio was a bloody brilliant reels. We know they are, but Jesus, I've had I've had Shimano's and Dio Di was and there's fucking nothing wrong with that. Trust me, there ain't. I mean, obviously, on the next video, hopefully, if I get out fishing, I'll uh, I would have used it and see what it's like at the moment. I'm bloody, bloody probably one of the best buys I've ever done fishing. It's absolutely brilliant. Anyway, that's the Cast King Sharky Three. Funny name, but who cares? If it catches me a big sharky bass, I don't give a fuck to be honest. There you go. That's the real. Moving on uh, to, uh, we can talk a few, a little bit about Lewis. And I, so I thought I'd do this because obviously I've got to do something. I mean, I've, um, like I said, I've not been fishing for a while. So I'll go through a few, a few lures that not necessarily medical. Anyway, but just getting back to that reel again, my, my reel was it. If any of you have got that and, you know, and it's shit, you know, please let me know because I'll take this video off. <laughs> I don't, I haven't, like I said, I haven't actually used it, but I'm absolutely chuffed to bits with that for the money that that's a bloody that is a winner i'm telling you i'm sure it is i'm sure it's going to be absolutely fine right then anyway these are the first lures i wanted to go over i've always now i've talked about these in the other videos these were the two gobies i've been using you can see it's had a few chunks out of it now look the old bloody bastard bass has started to chew that up it's got a little bit of its fin missing and that was old one eye i mean i've replaced the eye now it's not quite the same it's had an eye transplant You've got to try and make, keep it looking as good as you can. But I've got actually two new recruits. Oh, Jesus. I can't remember what the bloody names of them are now. Well, you'll, you'll see it anyway. But that's one of them. I think that one's called... That's Hannah Hayes. Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Hayes. And that's Bob Hayes. Now, that's Hannah Hayes. I think that's Hannah Hayes and that's Bob Hayes. But what I did notice, because I did a post on this on my website about these uh, gobies, because I've, I've fallen in love with them. Um is that there's three different sizes. Now, I thought I ordered the three-quarter ounces for these two. I thought well, they were three-quarter ounces, and that one was the ounce, but they're the same size. Now, well, does it matter? I don't, I don't know. I, but I'm a bit disillusioned. I'm going to have to check through when, when I bought them to see if actually I'd made a mistake, and that was the three-quarter, because I'm sure these were three-quarter ounce, these ones. They look exactly the same size. Anyway moving on now i've got two bags here this is my day bag and this is you guessed it my night bag now if i could actually get out there it would make a difference because i'm going to be telling you a lot of these lures 95 percent of these lures i haven't actually caught anything and i'll tell you why is because i actually um i got given them a birthday present really nice my friend lee has had a smashery as he's had a couple of really good ones in the last couple of weeks but you know he just came down off the fly the car broke down bless him anyway i've put the old scary eel back in now i've got i've got both of these now the reason why is because in the last newsletter i did the newsletter and um someone had, had contacted me and blame me down someone spoke bumped into him in the garage steve what his name is he um I bumped into him into the garage and he said that he had caught his PB bass on a scary eel round here. And I've, I've never known anybody else to use it. I know they're bloody good lures. So they've gone back in my day bag on his recommendation. I mean, you've got to, got to be worth a try. The reason why I don't really use them much because I think we risk losing them, but obviously not, not for him. Right, I've got the Do Life Sticks. That are um, very popular in Ireland. Well, probably popular around here. Never actually caught on them, but I've got given them uh, another blinder. Oh, obviously, that's a bigger Savage Gear sand sand eel. Uh, always gonna, always a great lure. This thing, oh, oh, I don't know what it is. I can't remember what it's called. Is it a sluggo? Maybe something like that. That looks quite a good one. Uh, what else we got? Another, another do life stick. I love the colour of that one. I can't, 
can't wait to try this off that mark i said before i got the bloody the ticket because it's deep it's quite deep water there another one look at it, it looks so good doesn't it look pop a little fish ain't caught ain't don't know what it's called but not really very helpful but i'm just showing you my day bag and night bag and that is called uh oh a spindle worm that was it and that one's had uh that one's i know people have caught on that round here whether i've rigged it up right or not i don't know i think so just a normal twist lock hook that we that we use and uh through the middle but that's going to be worth a go right well, that's only, only quickly briefly go i've got bloody loads more i don't know what the names of them are some right weird and wonderful looking things all different colors right as for the night bag just showing you like say quick to use them really would we've got the uh pirate seducer the paddle tail version now look at that oh mate if only we could get out there and that's another version that's a bit like the um the lemon back uh colors you know like the chart colors obviously you can see that one's yellow and white and one's yellow orange and white whether which is the best who knows there we go the old alby snack look put me own eyes on that one this is for the night bag remember the old savage gear sand eel another bloody absolute blinder uh this thing this is a oh, oh no this is called um, a Mega Bass X Slayer. That's what it is. And now that is a, a, a glow dart. It's even got a little rattle in it. Look at that. I never noticed that before. I don't know. I saw on the website. They said there's some of them are flavoured. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, but you know what I mean. Obviously, it's scent for fish, but I can't smell anything on that one. Anyway, that's the X Slayer. Still ain't used it yet. Ain't caught any on it yet, but never mind. What else we got? Oh look, look, bloody! Oh yeah, that's the Senko. That's what um, proved to be the, do the trick in the in the video about weed and everything. You know, letting that float along in the tide. Little bag, suck it in, bang! You're right, you're in. That's another thing though, learning you know, learning that tactic because, like I say, it could be quite a subtle take. Not like the ferocious ones you get on lures sometimes there's a, a white do live stick i mean don't mean to say that I'm, because it's my night pack i'm not going to use them in the daytime because I'd, I'd try anything if there's nothing happening and there's the old white fish minnow that was very popular the old white fish minnow especially with the bass man that was popular when the, you know when we had all that really bad weather a couple of years ago a bit like we got now but you know really cold the beast from the east and that, that's what he was uh catching on that 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 little bubba well i've never i've never caught on a fish minnow let alone the, the white one i'm gonna be totally honest not something that i've um had much luck with to be honest i used to have the other version i had a lemon back one but broke the broke it somehow and then couldn't put the uh couldn't put the uh, the new body back on i know how to do it now but you know you have to test some videos to show you how to do that it's quite simple you know how to do it. so that's basically my two bags for um but the reason why I say about this because I never said something else I learned fishing with somebody else but putting them in a bag like that you cannot actually slot them down the inside of your, in your lure pocket so you know rather than having bloody loads of boxes like this because there's no room for them when you when you've got the um you know when you've got your lure bag on there's no room for them things thank you thank you so 20 minutes doing that. <laughs> <laughs>